A couple were renovating this beautiful chateau when they uncovered some astonishing treasures. Craig and Karina Waters are embroiled in an epic DIY project. Now, we're not talking about a measly extension, or even building a new house from scratch. No, for these two it's all about renovating a huge 94-room French mansion. It all started back in 2011. At that time, Karina, her two kids and surgeon husband Craig were living in Perth, Australia, which, needless to say, is a very long way from the south of France. Nevertheless, the south of France was exactly where the family were planning to undertake their next adventure. Yes, Karina and Craig had decided that they wanted to buy a home in the region. Therefore, they flew out to the Dordogne to check out some houses selected for them by their French friends. The problem? They were all, unfortunately, devoid of character. Apparently, the houses were either too clean or too contemporary, so the couple had to return to Perth empty-handed. In fact, they came close to giving up until, out of the blue, Karina's son Ben found a property online. And what a property it was. This was a dilapidated, fairytale chateaus around 435 miles south of Paris, and it looked so good that the couple wasted no time in jumping on a France-bound plane in order to view it. It was love at first sight, Karina told the Good Life France. As we approached the village we could see the chateau, we both looked at each other, it was just like being at the altar. And by 2013, the property was theirs. There was, however, much work to do. After all, Chateau de Goudains was constructed back in the mid-18th century, on the same location as a long-gone 13th-century fort. It was the work of the well-known de Sales family, who had much influence in the area. In fact, the chateau was famous for its grand parties, which were attended by the likes of Voltaire and other famous intellectuals. Moreover, it was spared from destruction during the French Revolution after it was acquired by another wealthy local family. Later, in the 1990s, Chateau de Goudains was purchased by a syndicate that hoped to turn it into upmarket apartments. But after years of deliberation, during which the property's condition drastically deteriorated, the group's plans were denied. When Karina finally got her hands on it, then, she decided to stay in France to oversee the chateau's extensive renovation. Craig, meanwhile, headed back to Perth to look after the kids. At this stage of the project, I must confess that my eyes were shut tight and that denial was sweetly comforting, Karina told the Good Life France. But as work started on this epic dwelling, its secrets began to be revealed. It was, in fact, like a giant time capsule. Indeed, with its original fireplaces, elegant window frames and a sweeping central staircase, it offered a fascinating glimpse into a luxurious past. For instance, the walls, which were decorated by centuries-old paint, displayed exquisite murals and frescoes. What's more, the grand house kept revealing more and more, with pretty much every room containing a revealing surprise. One in particular, Karina discovered, contained the opening to a concealed tunnel. Yes, the small entrance led down to a tunnel that burrows at least nine feet below the chateau. Another room was covered in faded wallpaper that, on closer inspection, appeared to date from the days of the French colonial empire. By this point, then, the Waters family must have been over the moon with their purchase. That's because Karina had big plans for the chateau, and these needed to be approved by local authorities. The process proved to be incredibly long-winded. In fact, by the time they were eventually given the green light months later, Karina had seriously considered throwing in the towel. Regardless, renovations are now well underway, but Karina isn't necessarily planning to restore the property to its exact former glory. Buddhists used the term wabi-sabi and we want to apply that to the Chateau de Goudains, she explained to the Good Life France. 
Karina is also choosing to keep the locals in the loop every step of the way because of the changes she's overseeing. So each week she heads down to a local bistro to update her neighbors about how things are progressing. We have signed the contract, picked up the key and have now stopped worrying, she added. We are committed to our decision and have no doubt it is the right thing for us to do. Indeed, the Waters family have grand plans for the completed chateau, they want to equip it for conferences, weddings, vacations and more. It won't be a typical hotel-style setup but a unique experience, Karina explained. Today, the chateau has its very own website, and a superbly designed one at that. And as the build progresses, Karina will keep the site, which even features a boutique section so that the family can raise extra funds, updated.